Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope you all are fine. Are you guys ready to hear another story? I hope you are. Okay, this story is about sleeping beauty. Which horse would you like to ride today? A stable groom asked Princess Aurora one morning. Aurora looked around the royal stable. There were so many horses. It was always hard to choose. But then a fine Palomino caught Aurora's eye. He was the most beautiful creature she had ever seen. Look, she liked this. Palomino caught her eyes. He was the most beautiful creature she has ever seen. Okay. Aurora rode the former warehouse around the palace courtyard. The horse marched as confidentially as if he were the king himself. Suddenly, the princess had an idea. From now on, I think I'd like to ride the same horse every day, she said. What a wonderful idea, Prince Philip agreed. You should have a horse of your own. What's this horse name, Aurora asked. We call him Brutus. Your Highness? He groom replied, the groom replied. Oh no, Aurora exclaimed, that won't do at all. I think I'll call him Buttercup. Philip and the groom looked surprised. Uh, are you sure? The prince asked. Aurora smiled. Do you like new name Buttercup? The horse snorted happily. Oh, he liked the name Buttercup. Aurora rode Buttercup around the castle grounds. When the pages blew their trumpets as they rode by, he didn't flinch. When a carriage rumbled past, he, he stood at attention. When Aurora asked him to jump over a stone wall, he, clear, he cleared it effort, effortlessly. The next day, Aurora decided to ride Buttercup out to the fairy's cottage. Why don't you let me settle up Samson and come with you? Philip suggested looking worried. Don't be silly, Aurora said with a laugh. I grew up in those woods, remember? Besides, I'll be the Buttercup. Sorry, I'll be with Buttercup. He'll take care of me. Aurora and Buttercup branched off. But the moment they, con they entered the woods, Buttercup became a different horse. He began to walk slowly and look around nervously. When some of Aurora's woodland friends appeared, Buttercup tried to run away. See, Buttercup is trying to run away when she sees uh, Aurora's woodland friends. What's the matter, Buttercup? Aurora asked. Why? There's nothing to be frightened of. She could hardly believe the change in a horse. He was even afraid to step out a branch. When she asked him to walk through the forest stream, he nearly fainted. Look, when she asked him to walk through the forest stream, he nearly fainted. Look at his face. By the time she reached the cottage, Aurora was feeling a bit frustrated. How could a horse who was so brave 
at the palace be so timid in the woods flora fauna and mary weather hurried out of the old cottage oh what a beautiful pony mary weather exclaimed arora sighed he is beautiful she said but he seems to be afraid of everything in the woods i'm sure it will be all right flora said you'll just need to be patient with him that's all look buttercup is so scared and look at his face and his eyes yes dear be patient mary weather agreed but she sounded distracted she moved closer to the horse what a nice coat he has and such shiny hooves fauna added though he might look even nicer if his hooves were another color mary weather mushed zap she aimed her wand just like that buttercup's hooves turned blue wow it's like a magic and Oh don't be silly flora exclaimed her horse shouldn't be shouldn't have blue hooves on the other hand he might look pretty in pink zap buttercup's hooves returned to their normal color but the rest of him turned pink quit that merryweather cried blue pink flora argued back zap zap as the two fairies argued the horse changed from one color to the next oh look at buttercup it's flew because of the fairy she changed it with aurora watch a new horse change color that didn't seem to bother him at all but when a stray leaf fluttered down He jumped and snorted as if it were a horse eating a dragon. What was she going to do? She didn't want to give up on him. Buttercup was so perfect in every other way. Soon it was time to say goodbye to the fairies. Aurora did her best to ignore the way buttercup hesitated at every shadow on the trail home she had been certain that buttercup was the perfect horse for her now she wasn't sure suddenly buttercup stopped abruptly what is this time what is it this time aurora asked with a sigh then she looked at the trail her head and gasped in the horror an enormous mountain lion was blocking the path aurora's heart pounded as she watched the creature creep closer If Buttercup could be scared by a bunny rabbit, he was certain to go crazy over a mountain lion. They were in a in a big trouble. Look. Look at that. Look at this creature. To Aurora's surprise, Buttercup didn't panic or try to run. Instead, he stood proudly and puffed himself up to look even bigger than he was. He planted his hooves and snorted angrily at the mountain lion. Then he marched forward and struck out at the lion. with his front hooves aurora hung on 
She was still scared, but it seemed that Buttercup wasn't. Buttercup's lack of fear made Aurora feel braver. She reached out and grabbed a sturdy tree branch. Leave us alone, she yelled at the mountain lion, waving the branch, or else Buttercup pawed at the ground and added a fierce snort to back up Aurora's words. When the mountain lion didn't budge, Buttercup leaped forward and pinned its tail to the ground with one hoof. Then Aurora reached out and gave the lion a smart rap on the ro- nose with her branch. Mm, look at Aurora. She has the branch and she hit with the branch on the nose of the lion. The lion let out an embarrassed yawl. Then it yanked its tail free and raced away. Aurora was pleased with herself and with her horse. Buttercup has been brave when it really counted. Come on, Buttercup, she said, giving him a pat. Let's go home. Buttercup snorted again proudly and pranced off. As Aurora and Buttercup neared the castle, a butterfly fluttered past. Buttercup's eye went wide and he jumped in terror. Look at Buttercup. He's scared of small things like leaves or small insects. Okay, he's not scared of big animals. Aurora stroked Buttercup's neck and talked to him in a soft voice, reminding him to stay calm. The butterfly fluttered closer and closer and finally landed right on his nose, which was only trembling a little. Good boy, she praised him. You know, Buttercup, I think we make a perfect team. Look at the butterfly on there, Buttercup, uh, on the horse. Buttercup's face, the horse, he's fine now. He used to be scared, right? So this is the end of our story. And I will see you guys in the next story. And uh, thank you for watching.